I already know that everything works here. Let's check the key. These holes, it looks like something's been removed from the key. No doubt about it, my key's been deliberately damaged. I need to find a perfect copy if I want to be able to repair it. It still burns, even after all these years. And the nails! The damn nails in my head! Someone should have a word with the maintenance department. Have you seen the mammoths, too? Go tell the staff, that way maybe they'll believe me. And have you seen any dragons, too? Get your bearings. I understood that you'd be staying with us for a little while, yet... Might you be, miss? Yeah. Who are we speaking to? Uh, my name is Kate. Kate Walker. Kate? Kate Walker? That doesn't sound too local. Yeah. So how did you get here, Kate? Kate Walker? The Yukels brought me here. The Yukels? They're nothing but chicken thieves. A whole bunch of scumbag morons doing nothing but infesting the streets of Valsambor. Yeah. Now they've come here to do their dirty work. Ah, uh, you mean Kirk, I suppose. For 20 years we've been in this clinic. Since we got back from Baranor. Listen, this place has always actually been a quality establishment. I don't mind admitting. So we were pretty disappointed when we heard that Madame Olga is now letting in those degenerate scumbags from up north. Come on, Anton, come on. Madame Olga knows very well what she's doing. She must have her reasons for letting those midgets in here. So have you really been here for 20 years? Yeah. At first we were kept for observation with some of our buddies after that damn mission to, uh, Baranur. Leon and me, we're almost the last ones still here now. We don't know what happened to the others. Gotta say, some of them were pretty bad. Worse than us. 
some guys who got it pretty bad. Fortunately, Madame Olga looks after us right. They look after us nicely here. Yeah. She looks after us good. She's a real lady, if you want my opinion. Baranur? What's Baranur? A place. It's a goddamn hellhole. What are you talking about, Anton? That's all I have to say about it, Kate. Kate Walker. Can't stir up the past. Can you tell me where the exit is, please? It's there. But you won't be able to leave until you've had a meeting with Dr. Mongo Ling in his office. Yeah, he's the one who knows if you're cured or not. I'll be leaving you then, gentlemen. Goodbye. See you around, Kate. Kate Walker. Yeah, see you around. See, according to the picture, there's a pin missing. I need to find a way to fix it. But how am I going to manage it? Kate, Kate Walker, how's it going? You look kind of down. Well, I had a problem. I bet you went and flunked Dr. Mongo Ling's test, right? But don't go flipping out over it, Kate, Kate Walker. I could never figure out how I was supposed to pass those damn tests either. I did fine in the interview, and he gave me the key to the exit. The problem is, I can't open the door. It doesn't work. Sometimes things just aren't obvious around here. I gotta tell you, Kate, Kate Walker, Leon, who is a lot sneakier than me. A few years ago, he got through the interview okay, and also actually got that damn key from the doctor. Yeah, but I never got the damn door open. Same as you. There's something really wrong with this place. That weird interview we have to go through doesn't surprise you? And all of that just to get a key that doesn't open anything? 
Dr. Olga told us lots of times, Kate, Kate Walker. In this place, talking bad about the protocol is proof you're really sick. Yeah, Dr. Olga knows what she's doing, and you can really trust her. When we're better, our minds will be able to understand how the key works, you see? How are you, Kate Walker? Is your departure from the clinic imminent? I'm afraid not. You seem upset. What's wrong? I have to use a kind of key to open a door and finally get out of this place. It's a kind of a test, you know? A test that I passed, but the key didn't work. And when I compared it with an original, I saw it had been sabotaged. I'm getting the impression they're trying to keep us here by any means, Kirk whether we want to stay or not. That's a serious accusation. Are you sure? Hmm. The proof is building up. First there's that key which doesn't work, and that bed you're trapped in, and your missing prosthesis. It's true that I've been very weak since I began Madame Olga's treatment. But she says that it's normal. She calls it temporary secondary effects. We really need to get out of here, Kirk. Unfortunately, I cannot undertake the long migration of the ostriches without the mechanical leg, Kate Walker. But you, on the other hand, you can leave. But how? Show me the model of the key you told me about. I need to see the original model of this. I'm just waiting for the model of your key, Kate Walker. Hmm, that's what I thought. With this, my tribe Smith should be able to repair your key. If, of course, you find a way to get it to him. I doubt they have a postal service here. Go on to the balcony. Our shaman's messenger is never very far. I use it to communicate with my people. You can give it the key. It'll take it to my tribe Smith. Got it. Thank you so much, Kirk. Hey there, that's it. Come on, come here. Hey you, Birdie, Birdie, I've got something for you. About that bird, Kirk. I must be doing something wrong. It won't come to me when I call it. It's true that the old owl is a bit of a lunatic. Have you tried to get it to land on the balcony? No, but I don't see what I can use for that. Look around the yard, Kate Walker. You may find something that might interest the board. Why not? I'll give it a shot. Thank you for your help, Kirk.
The owl flew away with the key, Kirk. That's good news, Kate Walker. Now we only need... Kirk. What's wrong? Do Dr. Olga's treatment. Kirk. Kirk. Can you hear me? Wake up. Come, come. No need to be alarmed, Miss Walker. Who are you? And what have you done to Kirk? You're the one who put him in this torture device. Calm down, Miss Walker. I'm Dr. Olga Efimova. You're- I don't care who you are. Bring Kirk round. Immediately. Fainting is a secondary effect inherent in the treatment, Miss Walker. Nothing more. In medicine, despite any discomfort, protocol must be respected. Oh, you mean that horrible mechanical bed where that poor boy is waiting for a prosthesis that never comes? That's protocol? And I suppose the same is true for the absurd interrogation I had to go through. You seem to have developed a singular paranoia since you came out of the coma. When we get the chance, I'll look into it. But for now, I'm going to ask you to please leave. I have to administer the next stage of the treatment to your young friend. Fine, I'm leaving. I hope all this is going to help him. Well then, I can't imagine why you might think the opposite, Miss Walker. How is he? Your young friend is reacting to the treatment very well. Everything is fine. He's resting. Well, goodbye, Doctor. I'll come by and see you very soon, Miss Walker. Don't worry. Walker. Kirk! How do you feel? Not very well, I'm afraid. This situation can't go on, Kirk. So what can I do to help you get out? The best thing, Kate Walker, is for you to go alone. And if you really want to help me, once you are outside, go to Valsambor and try to recover my prosthesis from the craftsman. If you bring it back to me, Dr. Zamiatin will put it on, and I will be able to go back to my tribe. Can we trust Dr. Zamiatin? I'm not so sure when I see what this clinic is like. The man has always been a friend to the Ukols, 
and I'm sure he'll be able to help you leave the hospital and find the craftsman in Valsambor. Okay. I promise to come back as soon as I can with your prosthesis, Kirk. Until then, hang in there. Thank you, Kate Walker. And may the spirits be with you.